got something fun. We got this Tesla Model S door here, up armored from Armor Max. Now this is a level B6. So what that's rated for is like your 308 at uh, sub 3,000 feet per second. So this should, in theory, handle anything I can throw at it and pistol calibers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna work my way up with standard windshield glass, maybe some watermelons behind it and everything with nine millimeter. Uh, and then we'll come over here and we'll hit this Model S door with probably 45 ACP, something along those lines, and then work our way up to maybe 762 by 39 in that area. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll put one of the cameras behind the glass, put it at risk. I don't know. We'll see how froggy I feel later on today. It's been a hot minute since we've been out at the range, so we'll see how the, uh, how the accuracy goes. So uh, let's get to it. So first up, we have the H&K MP5 with the dead air suppressor on it. Now, I was fortunate enough to have the guys over at Capital Armory come out and bring some really cool autos today. I think you guys are gonna get a real big kick out of the uh, AK. So uh, without further ado, <laughs> let's get going. Oh, come on! I know, I can hear you right now because George was already yelling at me, hey bro, you're only on three round burst. <laughs> when I put it on auto, you can see the group there, um, the muzzle climb. It's kind of interesting looking at these things, kind of analyzing in post. Uh, you can see where the muzzle climb was and then as soon as I started compensating, coming back down here to hit the watermelon because I think the first few hits were a little bit high, but as soon as I, I leaned into it a little bit more, you see it come down there on the group. But it's still pretty cool. You can see clearly a windshield is not gonna do a whole lot to stop a nine millimeter for you. Now those were FMJs. Um, hollow points may react a little bit different, but another thing to take into consideration is the angle of attack on this, right? Because I'm, I'm almost perpendicular to this, so it's not gonna have enough surface tension or anything to really slow down that projectile. All right, we're just starting to, just starting to clean up here and moving the glass and kind of picking up after myself and everything and you notice here you can see that you had a magic bullet situation here and again that just further emphasizes the point that you can get these situations where you have no clue what the pro joe is going to do if you've been a subscriber on this channel for a long time you you've seen it how like just shooting marshmallow puffs like will cause a 50 cal to deviate like 15 or 20 feet downrange, and to further emphasize that point, 
we have a, a JFK shot here where the watermelon, just the rind in itself, when it went inside, caused it to curve downward and through the top of the bucket here. As you can see, I shop at Lowe's. I'm also a Home Depot member. Uh, you know, it's not sponsored, but thanks for the support, guys. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> you see it, like, it actually curved down there and out the back. So not as steep of a deflection and everything, but it's still cool to kind of emphasize that point a little bit, but uh, fun nonetheless. I can hear you guys right now, too. Richard, why are you shooting some press submachine guns? Why are you wearing ear protection? Because I'm a delicate flower. That's why I always wear ear protection and, and eye protection. Safety first, you hater. Uh, level B6 armor here. We have it on the door and the glass. So I'm going to start with 45 ACP. I know for a lot of you uh, gun nuts out there and everything, you're like, well, 45, man, that's not, that's borderline subsonic. I hear you. But the Projos look cool in slow-mo. So that's what I'm gonna shoot with the door. And then I'll hit it with 7.62 by 39 in the AK. Again, I'm super stoked about shooting this gun. The guys at Capital Armory brought this sick gold-plated AK-47 out here. So enough talking about it. If there's anything you guys wanna see me hit this in the future, maybe 50 cal or something like that, leave it in comment. You know what? Screw it. If this video gets, let's let's set a, a decent bar but not high in the sky let's say 20,000 likes I will shoot uh, armored windshield on a vehicle with a 50 cal 20,000 likes boom uh, but yeah all right I got nothing else <laughs> let's just go come on next up I have the Chris Vector now this is chambered in 45 ACP so it's borderline subsonic it's still supersonic ammunition but it's, uh, it's borderline. They also have the dead air armament uh, suppressor on this. So again, wearing ear pro, because that's what I always do, safety first, right? Um, level B6 plus multi-impact. So the reason why I'm shooting SMGs today or full auto is because some armor is only rated for single impact and then it's compromised as far as the structural integrity. This is supposed to be rated for multi-impact for all the munitions in that class. So, man, the heat, it's getting to me already. I feel like I sound like an idiot. Chris Vector, 45 ACP, with the dead air suppressor on it. All right. Looking at the slow-mo playback, you can see a little bit of fragmentation going uh, back behind the door. And I'd be lying if I said that I meant to do this, but it's a really good uh, example of just how thin-skinned a door is and how little, if any, protection at all it'll give you. Um, you know, concealment, not cover. Um, so you can see the armor plate on the back is pretty much this area here so whenever I leaned into the recoil um, you know put a, a couple rounds down here which was below the plate and then we'll go around the back and check that out but uh, this whole surface area here you can see that coming on the back side you know completely 
completely smooth right there. But then you got these little bit of strays right down here. Did absolutely nothing to stop those rounds. And again, just furthermore to emphasize that point, you know, 45 ACP, it's a larger caliber diameter. Again, borderline subsonic in velocity, but uh, it did, the door did nothing to stop it. Uh, there at the bottom, it was just a clean pass through. So uh, the, the panel here did a, everything that it was meant to do. I think that's about two, four, six, eight rounds on target there. And uh, there's no bulge or anything. So having said all that, let's get up into some rifle caliber rounds for the glass. And you can see just how thick that armor is. Again, this is level B6 plus multi-impact. So you can go up to 308 in caliber, I think up to 3000 feet per second ammunition. Looking down on the ground here, you can see the copper jacket off of some of that stuff. Um, so I'm excited to get the AK on this dude. We're just turning and burning today. Not much you can say about it. It's an AK-47, 7.62 by 39. We're shooting some Wolf ammo. Again, FMJs. I'm so excited, but I'm nervous too. I'm like, this is so shiny. It's like, what if I scratch it? Or what if it's slippery when wet? Like, there's so many variables. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I should do a banana, a banana like Cerakoted AK-47. It just says slippery when wet. <laughs> Just put a banana, put a banana in the magwell of an AK-47 and just put slippery when wet. There you go. Internet wins every time, undefeated. All right, let's do this. So that's a pretty good group there with 45 ACP. You can see the, the holes are a little bit wider, but then you look here, you can see there's about mm, five, seven rounds of the 7.62 by 39 going through the door. So the rifle caliber rounds, a little bit smaller diameter than the pistol caliber there. And then I started working my way up and concentrated about, let's call it 15 or 20 rounds. A lot of people don't know that bulletproof glass panels get their ratings not only by the type of round and velocity that they can withstand, but also the total number of impacts that they can take within a given area. And I think it's safe to say that with a full auto shooting so close with a relatively tight group, these panels did exactly what they were intended to do. By stopping what looks like about twice the amount of rounds it was rated for before allowing any pass-throughs. Armor Max actually has a knowledge base on their website that has some pretty interesting information about levels, specs, ratings, and so on. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link to that in the description below. So you can see here where it started to give way a little bit. Um, Again, that's just one of those, it's one of the byproducts of having so many rounds concentrated on target. As the structural integrity is compromised from the first round, you'll get strays, cracks in the surface tension, and that, that lessens its ability to stop the round. This is a pretty fun setup, but to be fair, there's a lot of variables here that wouldn't be practical 
So a fair comparison for this would actually be mounted to a vehicle. I don't know if I have the balls enough to uh, mount this to a vehicle I care about, but if there's anything that you guys wanna see, let me know. I may do that. I may do that in the next few weeks. Hey, I might even do it to a Tesla. We've got a Model S door out here. You know, you got the, the, the armor glass here and then the panels here. I think that if it was actually mounted to a vehicle, not perpendicular, with so much concentrated fire, it actually hold up better because again, you have the curvature, the angle of the, the glass sitting on the windshield or the door panel itself inlaid into the body, provide a little bit more support versus being on this podunk stand that I built here. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. If there's anything you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments below, blah, 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 subscribe, blah, 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 blah. It's the internet. Thanks for coming and watching. I'll see you guys next week or next Tuesday, next Friday or whatever. Here, I'm on the internet. So thanks for coming and stopping by YouTube. Goodbye.